first, we want to be able to access our files at any given moment if we are offline so that we can view any content that our teachers have shared with us that we've downloaded. To easily access files, it's best if you can pin it to your shelf. The shelf is the black bar at the bottom of your screen. So let's go look for the files icon and pin it to our shelf so that it's easy for us to find files later. First, click the launcher in the bottom left corner, click the arrow to expand, look for the files icon, here it is right over here, Use two fingers, press down on your mouse pad to see your options. Here's where you can select pin to shelf. Now we've pinned it to our shelf so it's easy for us to find the files that we save. We're gonna close the launcher and here we are back at Canvas. Here's the assignment that our teacher has given us, instructing us to download the virtual day packet that we're gonna to need to view if we're at home during a virtual day. So here's the link for the PDF. We will click the link to download it. And anytime I download something, it goes into the downloads folder. So you'll want to click the show in folder button and you'll see that the file saved into my files downloads. We don't want it to stay in the downloads folder. We want to move it over into a new folder that we're going to create. So I want you to click on my files and then I want you to use two fingers and press down on the mouse pad and then click new folder. We're going to call this folder virtual day packets. Okay, so now we're going to move the file that was in the downloads folder over into our virtual day packets folder. So I want you to select it and then drag it over into the virtual day packets folder. And there it is. And I want you to do that. I want you each time you download a packet from each one of your teachers, make sure you go into downloads and you find that file and you drag it over into your virtual day packets folder, okay? Now you need to submit the assignment so that your teacher will know that you have successfully downloaded it. So click Submit Assignment. Down in the text box, type the word done, and then click Submit. Let us know if you have any questions.